Hello there, and welcome back to another edition of the Manitowoc Ice Tech Facts series. My name is Jason MacDonald, Technical Service Trainer for Manitowoc Ice. Today, we're going to talk about how to read a Manitowoc Ice or Cool Air uh, Series Ice Machine model number and what the characters mean for that model. Here, we'll be bringing up the screen to show you what we're talking about today. So here we have our our model family of the Manitowoc Ice line and a model number that people have seen before. Uh, what we're going to do now is show you how to uh, make sense of what each of those letters or numbers means. So the first thing we're going to call out is the ice machine model. Uh, this is an I for the Indigo or the Indigo Next Series ice machine. Both are called out by I. And then you'll see underneath that I the other type of machines that we make. After that, we're always going to call out the ice cube size, uh, except for on that ice beverage series, that's always going to be IB. Uh, but then we call out the ice cube size. This one has the letter Y for half dice, and above you'll see the other options of cube size that we have. Starting in 2018, we started to call out the refrigerant type on our ice machines. This one is calling out the letter T, letting you know that the refrigerant in this ice machine is R410A. After that, we're going to call out the ice machine series. This one's called out by 1,900 or 1,900, and that's letting you know that this machine in the best conditions with 70 degree air entering the condenser and 50 degree water entering the water trough, that this machine in 24 hours could make about 1,900 pounds. Uh, change the air or the water or have safety shutdowns or full bins, and that number's going to change. After that, we're going to call out the condensing option. Uh, we have got four major condenser types. Uh, this one's going to be called out by the letter N as in November, letting you know it's a remote air-cooled system. That means that the condenser and the condenser fan motor are outside of the ice machine head, so the heat rejection is outside of the ice machine. We do have other options there, A for self-contained air-cooled, W for self-contained water-cooled, and that, then that's C for our CBD air-cooled. That's our systems that have the compressor and the condenser outside of the ice machine head. Then we're gonna call out our electrical type, uh, the voltage. Here, this is a dash 261. It's letting us know that the machine is a 208 to 230 volt, 60 hertz single phase ice machine. And then after that, we did have some alternative compressors that went into machines after we had to find a different compressor manufacturer. If you have an alternative compressor, there will be a letter, either the A for phase one or an E as an echo for phase two, right after the electrical code. Uh, that's letting you know that it has a different compressor from when it was originally made, um, the first series of the 1900 in the case of this ice machine. After that, we're gonna call out any additional specifications. Keep in mind, not every series of Manitowoc or Cool Air Ice Machine has additional specifications from the factory, but this machine has the letter X as an X-ray, letting you know that the luminized sanitation system was built into this ice machine before it left the factory. So you can get luminized as a aftermarket kit, or uh, some of our models allow it to be built into the ice machine from the factory. And there's the whole model number definition again on the screen, uh, letting you see what we're calling out. But we do want to highlight the undercounter series just a little bit. Everything up until up and through the electrical code is going to uh, be the same, but there's going to be a letter at the end of the electrical code here, and it's not for an alternative compressor. Our undercounter series have a cord come with them, and it's going to designate the cord slash plug type. This one has a B at the end of it, as in Bravo, letting you know it's a 115 volt grounded power cord. Our modular units do not come with uh, cords installed from the factory. That's something that will have to be uh, installed uh, upon initial install by a qualified technician. And we like to try to give you the option to tell us, hey, what should we be making? So we've got a QR code here on the screen or the URL up there, which we'll also drop in the description of this video, letting you know that you can reach out to the Manitowoc Ice team, fill out a form and tell us what you'd like to see us make for you. Help you troubleshoot out there in the field. I'm uh, gonna leave that up for a few seconds and give you the chance to uh, either snap that or go down to the description on the video and you should be able to click the, the URL and go straight to that form. Well, that was another edition of the Manitowoc Ice Tech Fact Series, uh, how to read a Manitowoc or Cool Air Series uh, 
ICE machine model number. Again, my name is Jason MacDonald, technical service trainer here at Manitowoc ICE. I'd like to thank you for watching today. Please like and subscribe to our YouTube channel so you get notifications when our new videos for our ICE Tech series drop. So that way, if it's something you need, you know where it is. Thank you for tuning in. Have a nice day.